Hey guys, welcome back to another video in our complete unifying Synology network build course. I had some questions on how to update the firmware in the Ubiquiti USG, so I decided to make a video on this. Updating your firmware is very important. Once it's connected to your cloud controller, it's as simple as clicking a button. But we're going to assume that you just bought your Ubiquiti USG and you have not adopted it into any controller yet. You'll need the latest firmware in your Ubiquiti USG before you're able to attempt any sort of controller adoption. This is because when the USGs are shipped from the factory, the firmware is likely out of date by the time it arrives at your doorstep. There are many ways of updating the firmware, but I will show you the easiest way. You'll be able to get up and running in minutes. First thing that you'll want to do is connect your USG directly to your internet modem by plugging in an ethernet cable into the WAN port. You'll then plug in your computer into the LAN or the LAN 1 port. Once you have the network cables in place, power on your USG and let it initialize. You'll notice it is still booting by seeing the blinking white light. Once that turns into a solid white light, you'll now be ready to perform the update. We can confirm this by looking at our network settings. So I'm going to open up my network preferences, click on my adapter, and you can see that I belong to the 192.168.1.0 network. And here's my router highlighted uh, with the IP address of 192.168.1.1. So if I open this up in a web browser, I can click up in the address bar and do 192.168.1.1. If you get a security message, go ahead and bypass that. But we can see that we're now at a configuration page for the USG, but there's no way to update the firmware from this page. So since we can't update the USG directly from this web interface, we're going to use SSH to do the command for us. Quite frankly, even if the option was available to upgrade the USG from this web interface, I would still prefer SSH, and there's going to be a few reasons why, which I'll show you shortly. So to get connected, let's open up our terminal, and I can do SSH, and then the user is going to be UBNT, at the IP address of the USG. So this is 192.168.1.1. Now I can press enter and get connected, but if you're actually going to be provisioning a lot of these, I actually recommend using a different command. And so if I paste that one in here, uh, we can take a look at the difference in this command. So we're, we're flagging some options here. We're, we're saying to SSH, don't write this to the known host file. We're writing it out to null. And then we're doing another option of disabling the strict host key checking. And so that means that it's not going to validate that 192.168.1.1 has the same SSH key all the time. And when you're provisioning multiple, it's impossible for them to have the same key unless if you manually set it. So uh, I always run with this command and then I press enter. And now I'm asked to put in the password for the user UBNT, and that default is UBNT as well. So username is UBNT, and the password is UBNT. So the next thing that we'll need to do is become the user root. Once we are root on this device, we can make any administrative changes that we need. So to do this, I'm just gonna put in sudo su, and now you can see here on the left, I am the user root at the default host name of UBNT. And now that I'm the root user, let's go grab the latest firmware. So I'm just going to go to a new tab and type in Ubiquity USG Firmware. And it's probably going to be your first link. And the most important thing is take a look here. You have firmware and software. We want the firmware. So I want to download this. Go ahead, sign your life away. And stop right here because you do not want to download the file. We want to copy the URL. So once I hit copy on this, let's just do a right click and copy just to make sure. I can switch back to my terminal and the command that I need to run is upgrade, paste that URL in and press enter. And that's all we need to do. Right now what this device is doing is it's dialing out to the USG or the Ubiquiti servers for us, downloading that file and executing the upgrade. This is absolutely genius by Ubiquiti. Few things on this. First of all, we don't have to put our router into a safe mode and use TFTP to drop a binary over like some other lame process that the other manufacturers are doing. But if this is also at a remote location, 
I can SSH directly into the USG and I don't have to worry about having a fast upload connection where I'm downloading this large firmware file and then waiting to re-upload it. When I run the command over SSH, it's instantly downloading that firmware file to the device using the USG's internet connection. Now we'll lose our SSH connection, which is completely fine. If you look down, you'll probably see your USG going through the blue and white light status phase. And so that means that it's doing the upgrade for us. We'll probably see the lights turn off during the process. That's completely fine. We'll see the flashing white lights. That means that it's initializing. And what we want to look for is for it to go back to that solid white light again. Once we confirm that solid white light, we can do a ping 192.168.1.1. And we can see that we're getting uh, responses from it. So that means that we're back online. And what I can do is switch back to my tab here and this is the old page and what I'm going to do is just hold down shift and do a refresh and you can now see that I have a completely different interface so this confirms that we have the latest firmware. So that's all that you need to do in order to upgrade your firmware on the USG. I would highly advise doing this every time that you unbox a USG before you do any sort of adoption. Coming up next, you'll start to figure out how we're going to adopt our USG to the cloud controller. Be sure to follow along by subscribing to us on YouTube or following us on Twitter. We're also accepting contributions through Patreon. So if you want to help us keep the lights on, our promise to you, we'll keep making great videos and keep publishing excellent content. So looking forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.